Um, I think the huge difference was uh, first down for us. Um, you know, we, we were kicking ourselves in the second half uh, just with, with dumb penalties on first down, putting us in bad positions. And, you know, the turnovers, you know, they, they really didn't help us. They, <clears throat> that's actually what kept South Carolina in the game is those turnovers. So um, our first down efficiency really needs to get better, and then we can continue to run the ball more. You know, if we're putting uh, first and 12 or first and 13, we have to pass it. So uh, our second, 12, second, 13, we have to pass it. So first down efficiency was really huge. Josh, I don't know how many, I guess, design runs you have. Was it something that South Carolina was doing to kind of keep you from running? Or, or was, was that all about? It was all part of the game plan, um, you know, different things we're seeing. Um, you know, Jalen and Alvin came out in the first half, and I mean, we rushed for over 100 yards. So try to continue what we were doing there. So, I mean, it all depends on the game plan and the flow of the game and how it's going. Josh, why do you think you were so efficient on third down with your passing in particular? Uh, I think it just came down to, you know, just execution, really. Um, understanding the looks that we're going to get and the looks we'll potentially get, where they're rotating coverage, where they're bringing pressure, and having the receivers be on the same page and O-line on the same page in protection. So it, it wasn't just, you know, me um, going out there and being effective, you know, on those third downs. I didn't really have people in my face, and, and the receivers were running great routes and getting open. So that really helped. You know, we, we just played. It was a whole unit effort on third downs and that's why we were so efficient. Josh, you scored two touchdowns in your first two possessions and then 13 points the rest of the game. What did South Carolina change up um, after that second possession, the second touchdown? Uh, you know, they started doing some things, bringing different pressures, um, but I mean, we were on the sideline talking and we kind of felt like it, it was really us that changed. Uh, we kind of let, let the foot off the pedal. And, you know, every team we play in the SEC, especially, you know, they're good and you let the foot off the pedal, they're, they're going to be able to come back in the game as what happened tonight. Um, so uh, we got to do a great job of, uh, you know, once we get up like that, we got to keep playing, keep fighting. I mean, the game's not over, you know, 10 minutes into the first half. You got to keep playing. So um, we'll, we'll come out and do better, but, you know, a win's a win, and we'll take them how they come. Why did you let the foot off the pedal? Uh, I, don't, I don't think it was like we said, let's let the foot off the pedal here. It was kind of just um, <laughs> just, got, just got relaxed, you know. Uh, when the first two drives were so easy, I mean, we had one incompletion on the first drive. We had all positive plays. We were just moving the ball down the field. Um, you know, we kind of relaxed, which we can't, we can't do. I mean, that happens. I mean, what happened will, will continue to happen. You know, teams will come back, come back on us. So, but I think, you know, to our credit, when we needed, you know, third downs, as, as we said earlier, we converted. And when we needed a big drive to go down, score points, you know, the game-winning field goal, we were able to, to do that and execute well. Josh, what you said you were banging your – pretty banged up just this time of year in the season. Did that limit you in any way today with some of the, the stuff with your legs? Were you any more hesitant? Did you not keep it as much on the zone read? How much did being banged up limit you today? Uh, I just I just read it. You know, I read the defense, you know. As a contact sport, I'm going to get hit. You know, I embrace that. Um, so um, I, I, can, I don't really let that affect, you know, the reads I'm making and, and what I'm doing. I'm out there, you know, I'm going to attack the field and give them all every time and whatever I have to do to win. So. Um, you know, being banged up, that comes with the game. You know, personally, I feel fine. You know, as long as I can walk on the field and play, I'm good to go. So that's how I play. Josh, it looked like you and Vaughn were on the same page throughout the game tonight. Just kind of, what kind of contributed to that? Uh, Vaughn did a great job running routes, getting open. You know, he had a lot of plays. He was able to find the little pocket in the coverage, and I was able to find him for first down. So, you know, him, you know, Ethan did a great job. He had a big third down catch. Josh Smith had a great third down catch. JJ, so it's kind of across the board. You know, guys were doing a great job of, of getting open, and we were able to find them and convert and move the ball. Josh, you had 200 yards receivers the last couple games. It was kind of rare the first two and a half years, I guess. How different is it for those guys? I know <coughs> the whole guys banged up, but I mean, how much different is, is the tenor with that unit compared to what it was in, you know, in September? I mean, they, we have playmakers across the board. They've been making plays throughout the season. They'll continue to, and they, and they they all understand that. I mean, they all know, you know at some point they're going to have to come up and make a big catch. So um, it's great to see out of the room. You know, they're interchangeable. You know, we don't really have one go-to guy, but we have all the guys stepping up making catches, which is big. So teams can't really key on one guy because another guy will hurt you. So it's definitely big to see that that kind of you know production out of that room. Tyler, but you said good teams win on days where maybe they don't have their best. How important for this program was it to win a game like the way that you won today? Um, <clears throat> it was huge. I mean, it was a testament to where we are now from where we were before. 
Um, you know, in, in past years it was, you know, we literally have to play our best game to have a chance. Um, and now, you know, we can we can have mistakes on offense or on defense and, you know, the other side will bail us out and we don't have to play exactly the best game and we can still come away with a win. Um, so, I mean, that just shows how much our team has grown and, you know, how much this program is, is really working. Um, so we're on the up and up and we plan on to keep going. Do you think winning a game like this will, will carry over confidence-wise? Because there have been some close losses and now to get a close win like this. Uh, yeah, I think... I think this game will be huge for a learning aspect. Um, you know, we didn't win the way we wanted to, and th and that was on us. That was our mistakes, um, our mess ups. So, you know, we can watch the film and re and really learn from this game and really understand, you know, our weaknesses and our strengths, um, and be able to get better as a team, which is what you want to do with uh, with games like these. Tyler, as, a, as an offensive guy, can you kind of talk about your perspective? You're done. South Carolina's driving a little bit. Ultimately, you know, your, your teammates step up on defense and, and make the play and get the fumble. And just how you visualize and you know, how, how you see all that play out? Um, well, being an offensive lineman, I'm always um, watching the line of scrimmage whenever I'm watching the game. You know, I, I have to go against Derek and, and Vereen every day in practice. So that's the guys I'm looking at. I'm just waiting for them to make a play, and they usually do. Um, I know exactly how skilled they are and, and how amazing pass rushers they are. So I know that they're going to be able to get to the quarterback. So I'm waiting for them. Um, and on that last play, you know, we had a play like that where, you know, Alvin broke a tackle, and it was the second guy who came in and made him fumble. So as soon as that guy, that guy broke a tackle, I was thinking, please, someone hit the ball. Hit the ball out. He, he can't see you coming. That's what we always talk about is the blind tackle. You know, you don't see it coming. That's that's the one that's going to pop the ball out. And, I mean, thank goodness for Malik Foreman and, and Jalen Reese and Maven to making the plays. Josh, uh, Coach Jones mentioned that you guys were limited in some quarterback runs today. Was that part of the game plan by design and not running as much? I, I mean, yeah, it all depends on how the game is going, the looks we're getting. You know, as I said, you know, Jalen and Alvin came out in the first half and rushed for over 100 yards. So keep feeding them if, if they're going to keep doing you know, thunder and lightning on um, their great running backs. So keep feeding them. So that's kind of you know, what our mentality was. And so, you know, just call, call Q runs as need be, but keep feeding the beast if they're, if they're, if they're moving the ball effectively. Why the chemistry with Von Pearson today? What do you say? I'm sorry. Why your chemistry with Von Pearson today? Oh, I mean, me and Von, we've always had great chemistry. Um, so it, it's time, you know, he, he was getting open, finding holes. I was able to find him. So, you know, he did a great job. He had a couple of catches where he went up in the air and owned the ball in the air, made great catches, and then had good runs after catches on some, you know, screens, some bubbles. So he did a great job of, of being productive all day. Josh, where do you think you haven't been more effective on first downs that Kyle was talking about? I mean, on, in the first half, we were effective on first down, so we came out and we executed. In the second half, I think, um, obviously, they're going to do stuff different, and, and we have to adjust their looks, and so we didn't execute as we, as we would have preferred to. So, um, But we were, ended up making up for them on, on second and third down and moving the football down the field.